you know, it's st- there still are those, but I would get those vibes here too. Like, I would get my workout in hour and a half, and then end up being here for fucking three hours. Just talking shit, yeah. Just chilling, no, talking to everybody, uh, everyone else getting their workout coming mm-hmm. in. You know, motivated them. Then they get done, and then we chop it up. I don't know, it's cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a really cool thing I got going here. Like, I got so many good people, great clientele. Um, they're all about helping each other, and it's it's crazy because coming from so many different gyms. You, when usually when you walk into a gym, you already see your um, your competition, and I feel like here there's no competition. Like the only competition we have here, and I feel like I feel like I did a I've done a good job on kind of like not setting the setting the standard, right? Kind of like your competition's yourself. We don't realize that. Like no matter what you do, it's you versus you. Even if there is somebody across like across the ring from you, it's you versus yourself. And like if you usually stick to your game plan and do what you got to do, right, and prepare the proper way. It's gonna give you the best chance to succeed and win. Um, that's the best thing, and like I said, everybody in here sees that. And instead of like wishing bad on the other or or kind of going against the other, you see them kind of helping each other. It's pretty cool. It's cool to see, especially coming. And I think that's why also, like I've come from so many camps where we're always competing against each other inside, even though we're not the same weight. It was about a, we were competing for attention or whatever it was. It's just kind of weird to me now that I think about it. But like all the negative stuff I've dealt with in my career. There was a lot of positive, but a lot of negative. And like even with coaching, right? I was called names, I was made fun of, I was uh, constantly threatened, right? Thinking that that was gonna get me to produce more. And really, it kind of made me shell up more. It, it was the opposite. And I remember how I felt. And I was young, so like there's times, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to cry, my feelings were hurt. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm 35, I'm still mad about a lot of the stuff I went through. And names I was called, they, and they probably don't even remember, right? But that was just their way of coaching putting you down, hitting you, whatever, throwing stuff, whatever it is, you, you name it, I, I've seen it. And um, when I opened this gym, I promised myself I would never be that person. And the way I train my guys is with love. It sounds weird, right, because we're going to war, but like you would, you would be surprised, and it shocked me how fast all my clientele, they learn. I don't yell at them, I don't put them down, I don't call them names, I just, I instruct them, they mess up, it's okay, take a deep breath, it's all right, the way, I teach them, someone said this, I'm gonna go on a tangent, but someone told me this. Sometimes like you, want, you wish you could go back in time when you were going through your hardest times and just give yourself a hug, right? And be that guy like, it's okay, it's gonna be all right, take a deep breath, bro, you're gonna be fine, trust me. I've been there, because I was you. You're, you're talking to your, your old self, right? In your hardest moments. And same thing here, like I just tell my guys the things I wanted to be told that I think would have made me better at the time. It took me a long time to see that, you know? But um, I always tell my guys it's a cycle, right? You only create more hate with hate, right? So you gotta. So when you're experiencing a lot of hate, you gotta break that cycle, and then same thing with love. You create more love with love, right? At least here for me personally. So like all of my experiences here with pushing my guys, it's never been to to hurt them or like break them down. And uh, like I said, the growth has been insane on all levels. No, it has. Like I've got to see it, you know, personally. Like I've seen, like literally, like people that that never did nothing athletic in their life, and athletes. Mm-hmm. I feel like athletes transition a lot quicker. Mm-hmm. But um, you just people that have never done nothing in their life. But I also think that you have an edge that maybe not a lot of coaches have, and that's that you're still young to where you can compete. So when you're showing people stuff, you're literally doing it, and it's it, to me, at least for me, like I'm a visual mm-hmm. learning, learner. Like, when I see you do stuff, it's, I can learn it a lot quicker. That's true, that's true. But also not having someone on your neck screaming at you to get it done and be like, bro, take a, t- take a breath. It's okay. Take a step back, do it again, right? Gives you a little bit more, like, kind of space. Like, okay, I'm not like, because, like, imagine, like, whatever you're doing, someone's screaming at you. It's, you're not going to, it's not going to be smooth. It's going to be choppy. You're going to be making mistakes, right? Because you're nervous. Then you're feeling, bro, I'm telling you, man. If you, I, I, I mean, I'm having flashbacks right now. Like, the shit that I dealt with people just on my ass and imagine now not even just doing it on a bag be in the ring when someone's trying to ki- you got someone else trying to kill you at the same time and you come back to the corner and you're getting the same treatment you were getting in the ring right you're supposed to come back to the corner for advice for direction not to be screamed at and put down more yeah no that's crazy so like all my experiences more i'm gonna be real more negative than positive but are helping me to be a better coach but i wish i only wish that i would have had someone like me when i was in my career it would have been great. You know what I'm saying? I would have paid top dollar for this. Yeah, for sure. For real. No, for sure. Because, I mean, you do it, like, now that you mention it, like, the old school, 
coaches, you know, they do, they beat a lot into you. Hell yeah, that's the only way they know. And some are, and this is back to what we were talking about earlier, some because they've never experienced it, so they think this is the way to do it. And some because this is the only way that they've experienced it, and there's continue that same cycle, right? Like, bro, wait, wait, wait. It didn't work for you. What makes you think, what you makes you think it's going to work for me? Right? right? So, um, yeah, I, I know off of, like, I've learned from more negative experiences than my positive experience, for sure. I, I can sure, for sure, like, tell you what not to do, right? Yeah. And so one of those ways got to be right.